GPI case by Retro Flight. On the back, there's everything in this kit. We're also going to be using the Raspberry Pi Zero W, which I think is super tiny. But now we're going to open up this. So we're going to want to open it from the side like this. Take it out. Ugh. Okay, lift this up a bit. Okay, got it out. Go, oh, the screwdriver. Okay, and a screwdriver. There's a USB cord here. And an instruction manual in the case itself in a, a, a neat little package. Okay, now we have to open this. I, I've never seen this before. And this is what it looks like. And this is the cartridge they have. Okay, so I made it off camera. I made an assembly line over here. And we're going to use a PCV board with an array of pogo pins. And on the back, there's this little thing. And we're going to plug this little cord like this because this is going to wrap around and plug into the USB on the uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W over here. So we're going to want to plug it in like this. Okay, that's plugged in. Okay, also, do not forget the part uh, by pressing down on this little black bar here to lock the ribbon in place. Okay, so we're going to place th um, this here like this, and, no wait, no wait, I got the backwards, like this. Okay, so now that we have this in here, we're going to want to add standoffs. Um, so we're going to want to place those in like this. You're going to want to take a, uh, the screwdriver that comes with the kit. Okay, so off camera, I um, plugged this all in and did it all up. So now we. So now, and the next step, I'm pretty sure, is closing this up and screwing it up. By, I, I don't mean like messing it up, but I mean. I'm actually screwing it in. Okay, so I'm going to change it from a flat head right to a Phillips head. So now it's changed. And kabam! Now we're assembled. So since we're assembled, we're going to need to add a program to this. And we're also, when we're done that, we're going to have to test it. Which. And we'll do all that in the next video. Goodbye.